Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I'm joined by Sarah Godden and together we go through creating category options, categories, and category combinations for your data elements. Okay, I'm here again with Sarah. Hey Sarah. Hi Nicholas, how are you? Good, how you doing? Very good. Nice. So today what we're going to do is walk through the assignment to create category options, categories, and category combinations in DHIS2. So uh, let's jump over into DHIS2 and we can see mm -hmm. all these different steps and hopefully get a better understanding of how they're all connected and what they, what they mean to each other. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so to get started, I'm going to click on Data Elements and Indicators. Um, we're, using, we're using version 2.22. So the interface is a little bit different than previous versions. Mm -hmm. um, when you click in, you'll notice everything has got this nice box, and then you can still see all the options on the side. So we'll start with category options. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make a. Uh, we're gonna use colors. So we've already made two, but let's make another color. Let's. I press the plus, or if you're using a previous version, it will say add new. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing mandatory here is the name. Yep. Um, you can make up a code. That's optional, and you can always come in and tweak the code later. Mm -hmm. So let's save. Great. And we can create any anything we want. It's just uh, for the system, it's kind of arbitrary. It's just what we call it. So this is where mm -hmm. we make our options. And then in category, we're going to add those options together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our color, or sorry, our category will be color. Uh -huh. um, now here's a, a drop down menu that might uh, you might miss just because it's a very small little arrow. So here we want to choose whether it's a disaggregation category mm -hmm. or an attribute category. Yeah, and that's really important to note because the difference being that a disaggregation category is what we've talked about in the previous assignment um, where where you would choose to enter for male or female and the number of uh, students who have attended, for example, or uh, the number of colors, you know, the number of uh, paints you have bought, you know, and then you can say we bought three blue, uh, three green and five red. But if we wanted to do it by attribute, we would be able to, uh, this is often done with funders or with different um, organizations that might operate in the same uh, organization unit and be filling out the exact same data entry form but we want to be able to look at who's entered the data so that would be an attribute category for example we would say the red class had this many male students this many female students but the green class they enter the same data element for the same org unit uh, with the same data entry sheet but it's a different uh, person entering the data so that would be an attribute category is that is that a clear enough mm -hmm. example do you think I think so, yeah, and maybe when we get to forms and making forms, we can expand a little more there. But Definitely. for now, for our, for our color category, disaggregation, I think, makes the most sense. Definitely. Um, and then checking this data dimension box um, makes this category, color, an option when you're pulling reports. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to pull reports and disaggregate by color, so I'm going to check this box, data dimension. Awesome. And now, now we'll we just, find our yeah. colors. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Three colors. Push the arrow over and save. Nice. And then the final Great. step is to make sure that we can actually connect this all to a uh, data and data set or a, a data element, which is the category combination. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're just going to do one to one. We're just doing a, a colors category combination, which is just the category of color but we could combine multiple categories into a single category combination. You can mix and match these mm -hmm. any way you want. Mm -hmm. So let's save this uh, combination and okay, colors. So if I right click, I have our kind of edit, delete, translate menu, mm -hmm. but then I will left click and a nice side panel will come up with the information about our category. When you're making your data element configuration sheet, and you need to link it to the category combination, this is where I would say, okay, for these particular data elements, I want to disaggregate disaggregate by the color category combination, and you'll copy and paste that UID. So that's just a quick note for later when you get there. Definitely, good point. And I think that's uh, that's all the stuff for, for this assignment. So is, do you have anything else hmm. you'd want to add before we finish? No, I think uh, I think that's a good overview. It's pretty easy and quick to do this manually, um, but you can also use the import templates and uh, import your categories if you have a lot. But what you'll have to do is then do the manual 
grouping. You'll have to say, you know, these categories belong here. So there, there is a bit of import, but then a bit of manual work as well. But otherwise, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And uh, this new interface is quite nice. So if you're working on previous versions, it'll look a little different, but you'll have the exact same functionality. So Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Great. So thanks so much. And I think that's it for now. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 